So in this video, I want to bring you back to our original search example here for the electrician in Lowell, Mass. And I just really, really wanted to stress how important reviews are these days. I feel like a lot of businesses do understand this, but in a lot of cases, they're probably getting reviews on other sources, places like Angie's List, Yelp, um, all these other sites where I know that it is important to have reviews. But if you think about it, where, where do most people start when they actually look for something? Um, I'm not going to yellowpages.com. I'm generally not really going to Angie's list. I think you have to have a membership there. I know that there is a very popular, um, you know, it is a very popular place to go. There's a lot of business going on there. I do hear from contractors and other businesses. That's a great place to get business. But generally, I feel like most people are going to start with Google. That is probably the number one place out of anywhere because other sources you may have to pay money or um, you just have to have an account. I mean, if I'm looking for something quick, like let's just say I had an electrical emergency, maybe something like blue in my house and an outlet that was very critical, I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search for an electrician. I'm not going to go to the Yellow Pages or any of these other sites. And I really think this is probably the most prominent place where you're going to have the most visibility of any source because Google really is just sort of dominating in terms of search. Now, um, to give you an example here, you've got all these different businesses listed and if a business does not have more than five reviews, it's not going to show up as visibly as if you have more than five. So let me give you an example. Here we've got, um, let's see, Sylvester Electric, three reviews. So as you can see here, even though they have three reviews, they don't really stand out any more than, say, someone like Leonard or Crow and Sons. It's just kind of hard to see. But what you do see here is that Dual State Electric Services has this star rating showing up. It really stands out like a sore thumb. It just really highlights their business and makes them look really good. Um, it probably helps them incre increase the click-through rate in people that are actually going to go clicking on this business. And on top of that, I can now click on this and read all the reviews, which I showed you earlier. And this is just a no-brainer for me. I mean, if I was looking for an electrician in Lowell, this is going to be the guy I'm going to call. I'm probably going to call him first. And if things don't work out, I might go to this guy, Leonard. I'll see what's going on with his review. High quality work, so that's a good one. Uh, another thing I, I thought I'd show you here just briefly as well, since this is a good example of it. Um, if you do happen to find your business on Google, you know, let's say you've watched this whole course, um, you decided to look up the business, you'll see this little claim this business here. This is what you're going to want to do if your business is not verified and not set up properly. So I can tell you right now, just looking at this, Leonard Electric, um, he's not claimed on Google. If he had actually claimed this business listing, um, he might move up a little bit higher. Maybe he'd be in the top three instead of number four. And right now he's not claimed. So that's actually hurting him uh, in the results and really just hurting him in general to get more business, maybe in other surrounding towns. So I did just want to point this out. You'll see claim this business. And any business you see without this is basically going to have a harder time to rank uh, depending on what type of business they are and the competition in the area. Um, so yeah, moving on to reviews. Basically, what you're going to find is that if you only have three reviews like this guy here, Sylvester Electric, um, you're not going to get the stars. So just imagine that I'm shopping on Amazon and I'm looking at products and I'm reading about all the different um, products in a particular niche. I mean, it's almost like I'm doing the exact same thing right now. If I'm looking for an electrician, I'm probably going to go and look at all these different reviews and read what's going on. And if I don't have anything to go on, then I'm going to be a little bit skeptical um, you know, I'm probably going to go after the people that have the most reviews, and I just really want to stress that. I think a lot of people do understand its importance, but um, I can't tell you how many businesses I come across that, you know, they've got 200 reviews over on Angie's list, but here they are with like zero or one on Google. And in some cases, those reviews might be really bad. Um, I had a guy that, you know, was very, very prominent on Angie's list and Yelp and some of these other sites, and then he's got one negative, a one star review, a single one star review on his Google Plus page. And of course, he's not in the top three, so he's just not gonna get any business from Google um, with that type of profile. Because people are gonna see that review, and then they're gonna just say, well, never mind." And I've actually had phone call conversations with people that admitted to, you know, someone set up an appointment with them, went back, read some of their reviews, whether or not they were bad or whatever the case was, and then came back and actually canceled an appointment because of the bad reviews they read on the internet. So this is something that's very important um, get your, your really confident customers to come leave you some reviews.